Well, let's uh, turn our attention now to uh, another story, and this is in Montgomery County in Maryland, and uh, it is uh, the Montgomery County Council is offering up two bills to address homeowner association concerns. And uh, with me as a guest on the show today is someone, uh, listeners, you've heard him on here before. He's the former past president of Community Association Institute. He is an attorney and a partner in the firm of Levin and Eden, specializing in construction defect. We have on the phone with us again, John Eden. Hi, John. Hi, Gene. It's great to be back. Thank you for calling. Yeah, well, thank you for uh, taking some time uh, to be on the show today. Um, so how are things, with uh, before we get into this story here, with uh, construction defects? Uh, i got to believe, at least with what we're seeing, we're beginning to see um, more builders that are beginning to build again, HOAs, and I've got to believe that's going to mean either now or in the near future there's probably going to be some misunderstandings. Well, I, I think that's definitely true. I think since uh, 2012, we've seen an uptick in multifamily construction. However, a lot of the activity is in apartment buildings. Okay. And uh, there seems to be a general reluctance by some of the bigger developments or developers to, to build condominium projects, and eventually that's got to change. Uh, but uh, right now, it's, it's, the big money seems to be in rental. Yeah, I, I guess I, I would agree. There probably is. A, it's probably a, a, a pendulous thing, isn't it? Kind of swinging back and forth. Exactly, yeah. and it's 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 uh, symptomatic of the construction industry. They go 110 percent in one direction, screech on the brakes, and go 110 percent in the other direction. It's it's overreact, overreact, and so yeah, we'll be back. But it's it's uh, it's going to take a little bit. Okay. Well, we've got uh, just about a, a minute before our uh, next. Uh, uh, break here. So, uh, John, uh, when we come back, by the way, I'm going to have you uh, help me in trying to guess uh, the uh, the theme song, uh, bumper music, and it's uh, theme songs to Christmas uh, movies, okay? Okay. And uh, wow. But uh, let me just set up for our listeners what uh, we're going to be talking about. Montgomery uh, Council has two pieces of legislation. One is called Bill 4414, which would require the owner of a unit a landlord, to be within 30 days of paying outstanding condo or HO fees before renting their unit out to a tenant. And uh, some unit owners and others are saying that this is needed legislation because of given recent years of increased bankruptcies and foreclosures. This new requirement might help provide needed assistance to associations. The other is Bill 4515, which says what we really need is additional training for HOA board members Uh, because they've got a big duty ahead of them. Well, we're going to dig into this with our friend John, but we're going to take a break right now, so don't go away. You're listening to Where You Live on AM 1280, The Patriot. 